Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a carousel control that has auto show feature and when you mouse over on the carousel it will stop uh, sort of fading in and out uh, and when you mouse out of the carousel it actually starts the carousel show again. Uh, this is the continuation uh, and potentially last or one to the last tutorial uh, in the series of creating carousels. The, we already have uh, three more tutorials so I uh, recommend to go ahead and watch those first. They are literally like four. Uh, we have also a playlist that has these carousel tutorials but it's literally like three last tutorials before this tutorial. I'm going to put the links anyways uh, in the descriptions. So as you can see here the carousel is actually a bunch of sections one to five and you can see that right now uh, every five seconds is actually changing the content of the uh, changing the sections as you can see section two has a color uh, and then it takes a little bit more and then it switches and if I move my mouse into the carousel it actually starts the show so now it will just you know stop at content section three and then when I move when I mouse out it will uh, basically reset and uh, sort of starts over so now you can see that it goes to content 4 and content 5 and so forth so let's get started in the previous tutorial we made something like this so basically uh, we have here a container and within the container we have our carousel within the carousel we have the slider which contains our five sections and we added two back and forth or prevent next kind of controls or buttons that we can sort of go for and go backwards. Uh, I recommend you to go ahead and check the tutorial and the previous tutorial if you don't know. So this is going to be the base for this tutorial and if you have watched it you remember we defined a next and prev uh, which are basically references to these buttons and then on clicking on the next we do uh, called a reset function which goes over all the sections and changes the opacity and Z index of each to zero and every time we click the next button it literally resets and then increases the section index to one uh, more so basically if on each section it just increases by one and then sets the Z index and opacity to one. And the same thing goes with the prev, but instead of increasing the section index, it actually goes ahead and decreases it. Uh, worth mentioning that we obviously initially sets the Z, uh, the section index to zero because we want to start from section one. So now how are we going to add the auto show to this slide, to this uh, carousel slider? It's pretty easy. It basically comprises of these functions that we use or the operations that we use in next and prev. So I assume if you are using an auto show you're not going to have the next and prev button but regardless uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to create a function called start show right so start show and then with this, this within this function uh, I literally just define uh, a the JavaScript set interval and then the first parameter is a function and then the, the second parameter uh, is actually like the length or the sort of the interval that we want to use to have between each transition between sections, right? So if you notice in the CSS when we click next, we actually on each section have a transition of one second. So if I press next for example here, it literally has a one second transition that changes to the second section or the third section and so forth. So what we want to have is have at least the same transition or more. Uh, recommended value is obviously more because you don't want to switch the you know the show on switch the sections every one second because that's literally the set the time that it takes for the, tra the fading transition. So I'm just going to put something bigger let's say 5000 so it's like five seconds and then within that I literally want to do exactly the same things that happen for example in the next right so I'm copying this and then pasting the code over here so it first resets uh, so that all the 
sections have Z index zero and opacity zero. And then what I want to do is if the section index is less than zero, at least less than four, which is the length that we have over here, minus one, then increase the section index. Otherwise, since it's an auto show, I want to reset it to zero when it reaches the end of the, the last section, right? So instead of using four, I would set zero. So now uh, you will see that it resets. So it's going to just reset all the Z index and opacities of all the sections to zero. But then it starts increasing the section index to, uh, well, by one. If the section index is less than four, which is the length of our sections, five minus one. Otherwise, if it's more than four or equals to four, then it will just reset to zero, basically starting over. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how this will work. Uh, if I start calling this function, so I'm just going to say start show, you will see that it actually starts counting. So content one uh, is going to be the initial one. After five seconds here, you'll see that it switches to section two. After five seconds to section three. Uh, I'm just going to wait until it reaches the section five and you will see that it resets to section one again. So section four, after five seconds, we have section five. And then after five seconds, we're going to reset to section one. As you could see, it literally goes to section one. Now, how are we going to add the sort of the uh, mouse over and mouse out? It's really easy. So I'm going to create an event listener for my uh, mouse mouse over so carousel dot add event listener and then I just say mouse over the second parameter is a function and what I want to do is stop this set interval right set interval returns a, a value which is like a let's say like an interval ID so I can just define uh, interval ID equals to set interval and I'm going to create a variable outside of the start uh, show called interval ID right so I define a variable you can also like maybe initialize it to zero it's not necessary but let's say we initialize it to zero and then when we start the show the set interval will assign uh, the return to this interval ID and then within our add event listener we can use the function clear interval passing the interval ID, right? So now let's start. Let's uh, let's have the slideshow starting uh, like this. So content section one and section two. And now if I move my mouse on the carousel, you will see that it doesn't. Oh, it actually changed. Let's see why clear interval interval ID am I using everything correctly let me just say uh, interval ID so this seems to be correct and clear interval interval ID uh, obviously I haven't included the carousel so I have to have a uh, reference to my carousel document dot query selector my carousel or a div with the class carousel which is the container of our carousel and now I suppose this will work so content 2 now I mouse over and you will see that it doesn't switch anymore after five seconds to content section 3 because we basically with using this we cleared the interval that we had right now how about when we mouse out it's the same method so I'm going to copy this but instead of mouse over I'm going to use mouse out and then within mouse out I want to basically call the same function that starts the show right since the section index is a global variable it will start from the index that it was previously stopped right so I'm just going to call start show again here on the mouse out so now if you look at this uh, you'll see that it starts like the fading, like an auto show for the fading. So section two, and then after five seconds, it's going to go for section three. So I, if I now, you know, put my mouse inside the carousel, 
you'll see that it stops the show. It's going to stop on content section 3. And now if I mouse out, basically moving my, my mouse out of the carousel, you'll see that it actually starts over and it will switch to section 4 and it will go on. So every time I move inside the carousel, it will like clears the interval that I've created in my JavaScript. And then when I mouse out, it will start over the show, which is creating a new interval and all that. So I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. Uh, for the previous carousel sliders, which had the same sort of functionality, but it was a sliding, it's pretty much the same concept. Whatever happened when you click on next or prev, mainly next because it's the start it's a show you basically put that in the set interval function within a function you call like start show whatever you want to call it and then you assign the set interval to the variable you define outside of the function and every time you mouse over on the carousel you basically want to use clear interval passing the interval id and mouse out you basically start the show by calling the start show again so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because the next tutorial will be uh, an amazing tutorial. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Put it on the description. You, you guys always do it, but I would like to encourage you to do it more. Give me any kind of feedbacks, any kind of questions that you have. I do my best to answer questions and I wish you a very good day and night. See you next time. Goodbye.